Tana, Kotu, Kotwa, Ko, Samaho. Not bad, not bad. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming. It looks like we've got a packed house here today. So thank you. Thank you very much for attending our, our show this evening. My name is Sam, and I'm part of the Menzies Aviation Team. I come all the way from London this week, and um, I'll pass you over to my co-host, Phoenix. Yeah, all right, mate. That's about, <laughs> yes. That's about as good as my English accent's got. I'm learning, I'm learning. All right, Hi, I'm, 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 my name's Phoenix. I'm the co-pilot for the evening, so I'll be here translating Sam for you guys. You know, he's got that nice little English accent there. It's very... Uh, very proper. It's very nice. I like it. Uh, cool. So I'll be here helping out Sam. But just before we kick everything off, we've got a few kind of house rules and things like that. So in case of an emergency, uh, oxygen masks will come down from the ceiling. <laughs> so we've got our fire exits on either side of you. So they're on either side. Fire exit up the back. Uh, if you have your own emergency, the toilets are up the back. Just through the foyer, down the stairs. Uh, the toilets are just out the back there. And also, if there is a fire, the assembly point is just out in the car park there, so, you know, away from the fire. You forgot life jackets, bro. Oh, yes, life jackets. Life jackets under your seat if you reach. <laughs> cool. So, we've got a massive night. People looked. You looked. Wow. <laughs> awesome. Got to check, I guess, eh? So, we've got a massive night. Tonight is actually the world premiere of um, our music video, a charity single that we've been that we've been working hard on, so you guys are the first eyes to be able to see that. So that's very, very, very exciting. We haven't seen it yet, so we're excited. It's going to be a massive night. Thank you. Thank you, Phoenix. So um, myself and the rest of the Menzies team, we've been here um, all week learning about all of the Maori culture and traditions, and we will now be performing the Kapahaka for you. Yes, here we go.
said we've been here all week we've been learning we've been learning all of your culture from New Zealand and that was one of the one of the things that we've been learning all week so a lot of time and effort has gone into that performance so another round of applause please <laughs> right we will, we will hear from our uh, CEO of the I have a dream foundation now and backhouse um, and if you'd like to come to the stage, please. Thank you. Well, kia ora whanau. Welcome to the I Have a Dream charity single launch in conjunction with Menzies Aviation. But before I start my speech tonight, I just want to take a moment to remember I Have a Dream founder, Eugene Lang, who at the age of 98 passed away earlier this year. I Have a Dream started because 36 years ago someone gave a damn and believed every child has potential to achieve, despite what socioeconomic status they were born into, because that shouldn't be a limiter of destiny. Mr Lang made dreamers out of all of us, and we are honoured to be carrying on his tremendous vision and legacy. Over the last 35 years, that dream has now spread to 18,000 children worldwide, including the 53 kids that I grew up helping in Auckland since 2003, to now include a whole community of Kiwi children right here in Whangarei, Aotearoa, New Zealand. Mā te huruhuru, karere te manu. Adorn the bird with feathers so it can fly. I Have a Dream is all about creating opportunities to help children grow their wings to fly by offering them long-term support 
to ensure they reach education and life success. Kids, the feathers we want to continually adorn you with are tumanako, meaning hope and aspiration. Young people need to be given something to hope for. Fanonatanga, meaning relationship. Young people need significant adults to come alongside them, truly believe in them, and push them towards those dreams. Ako, meaning two-way learning. Young people need lifelong learners, adults that can teach them about this world, but also adults that are willing to learn and value their world. Rangatiratanga, meaning self-determination. Young people need adults that help grow their identity and develop their wings. And lastly, aroha, meaning love. Young people need to be loved unconditionally. Before they read our lips, they will read our hearts. What an honor it is to invest here in our tamariki. Kids, when you have all these things that I've just spoken about, you will fly into your future, your own way. They say it takes a village to raise a child. This week, we welcomed Menzies Aviation to become part of our entire village, inspiring the dreams and enabling the futures of these children. Team, together everybody achieves more. Menzies, this week you have joined our team of communities made up of Fano and Tamariki already paddling their waka hard out. Our team of schools striving to ensure our kids get the best education experience possible. Our team of navigators providing long-term support for our kids. Our team of businesses and donors who believe in our vision in Kaupapa and provide essential resources needed to make it happen. Our team are on a mission and already paddling our waka at full speed. But this week, Menzies, you guys just put a V8 turbocharger on it. What you will see tonight, Fano, has been nothing short of an amazing week. Our t-shirts we've been wearing all week stated, we rise by lifting others. A quote taken from one of our Tikipunga primary school kids. May I close tonight with this quote at the forefront of everyone's minds watching, both here in the auditorium and on our live stream around the world. Because when we lift others, we contribute towards creating a better Aotearoa, a better New Zealand, a better world. Let's make dreams together. Go forth and prosper. No reira, tēnā koto, tēnā koto, tēnā koto katoa. Yes. Thank you, Ed. Thanks for that amazing insight into I Have a Dream. Ah, you handsome, strapping young lad, you. It's my boss, so. Thanks, you're welcome. Ah, cool. So, um, we're going to move on. So, you guys might be wondering even who is Menzies Aviation? And what do they do? I know some of you, yep, nodding your head, yes, who is Menzies Aviation? So they've been here helping us all week um, and actually over the last couple of months to make this all come true. So we're going to get a bit more background about Menzies Aviation now. Uh, we're going to watch a short video so you can see a little bit about their history. And then following that, we're going to get a quick presentation from them and what they do. So keep your eyes peeled, team. Humble beginnings in Scotland, John Menzies set out to fill a gap in the market for media distribution within the north of the United Kingdom. Starting with horse-drawn carriage, the business grew throughout the expansion of the railway, the introduction of motor vehicles, and eventually into international flight. From just a single shop on an Edinburgh High Street, John Menzies' legacy would live on through two world wars, the Great Depression, seven British monarchs, 37 UK governments, and over 180 years of history. This longevity was underpinned by a remarkable expansion. The turn of the century brought the venture into petrol-driven vehicles and, of course, the Great War. Unlike many businesses, Menzies thrived during the two world wars due to the constant need for newspapers to spread the word about the happenings on the war front. This growth and robustness shown throughout these dark periods only accelerated through the post-war slump, and by 1965, the company held 90 wholesale warehouses, 161 retail shops, and 350 railway book stalls, 
with an annual turnover of almost £50 million. By 1989, John Menzies' retail and news distribution sectors were so strong, the board made a decision to acquire Scan Couriers and airline cargo services. This move triggered the first step towards international aviation services for the entire business. A joint venture with United Airlines and United Quality enhanced Menzies' reach and opened the possibility of next day delivery of cargo anywhere in the United States. Very soon after, Air Menzies International is acquired, solidifying the business's footprint in international air cargo. The acquisition of the Ogden Group in 2000 pushed the company into the spotlight as an international cargo courier and now an airline ground handler. With the business now thriving in the expanding aviation market, the choice was made in 2003 to split the group in two. Menzies Distribution maintained its prowess with UK-wide logistics services, whilst the brand new Menzies Aviation stepped forward as a strong contender for high-class ground handling and aviation services around the world. 2017 saw the business expand into the aircraft fueling market. The acquisition of ASIG, an interplane fueler and fuel farm manager based in the US and UK, grew Menzies to over 30,000 employees across six continents, 56 countries and over 200 airports. Today, Menzies Aviation continues to set standards as an industry leader with the safest handling record, most sophisticated technology and the highest quality of training. The ambition and competitive instincts within Menzies Aviation's philosophy consistently ensures satisfied customers and passengers around the world. We are driven, individually and collectively, to deliver excellence, touchdown to take off. Kia ora everyone, my name's Yogesh. Kia ora, I'm John, we're both from London. And if you don't know who Men's Evasion are, that's what we do. So why are we here tonight? Why are we here? We're here, we're here because we're a team, we're a team of 12 people and our, our company believes in investing in the future generations to help prepare them for growth and success. So every year they have a cross-cultural challenge program. 12 individuals are selected from different countries and they have been set challenged to raise funds for charity and to try and develop the team. This year we've come to Fungari. We've been here a week now. We, did, we didn't quite know what was in store for us. Yeah, a, a charity single, dream day trips, at, uh, taking children from four local schools. We did surfing, we did diving at the poor nights, we did an airport tour, and a waka trip. Gosh, we did a, a lot of singing, and several hackers later, we stand here in front of you. It's been a privilege for us to get to know the children and see the amazing work that's been done by the I Have a Dream team. Not just on the big days out, but the work they do every day. We want to thank everybody at the Marai the I had team and the people of Fungarai for your warm welcome and hospitality. We really enjoyed this journey, every minute of it. And we help we liked helping, assisting in your mission to navigate young people to fly. A massive thank you from the Men's Aviation team. Thank you. Thank you. Well done, Yogesh and John. Thank you. Thank you for providing um, a really interesting insight into, into what our company does. Okay, thank you very much. Um, so next we're going to hear from, from the children um, and, and get their views on how the week went. So they will be taken to the stage with their buddies and they will be giving you a brief overview of how their week has gone doing all of the activities that they've, they've been involved in. So. Bodies and children, please come to the stage. Thank you. Kia ora, everyone. I am Conrad Bester, and I'm from Cape Town in South Africa. And it's my privilege to introduce to you Bianca Williams from Otangarai Primary School.
Now, before we start, I'd just like to say that between the two of us, uh, Bianca is definitely the expert on stage. Um, so, apart from recording a song uh, at a real studio this week, our team also had the opportunity to have a real uh, waka paddling experience at Kofarua Bay in a real waka. So, Bianca, can you just tell the audience how your week was with the I have a dream team and with the Menzies Aviation team. Um, well, my week was fun. Don't know about you guys. <laughs> um, so, the fir on Monday, they, the, they came to our school. We met our, our mentors for the week. We got together and then we talked about each other. And then on Tuesday, Tuesday we record, went to, in town to record the song. It was fun. And then on yes. Thursday, we went to the beach, and then we learned how to paddle a real waka. It was fun. And then we had lunch. And then today, we're here to show you guys what we've been doing all week. Th thank you, Becca. And I have to say, uh, the Kaotu at the Waka Experience told us that uh, Bianca is a real expert, a real natural when it comes to uh, Waka paddling. So well done to that. Um, then we all, as children, whether we're adults or children, have, have dreams. So uh, Bianca, can you just tell the audience what, what your dream is? Well, I want to be an actress. And why I want to be an actress is because I like making people laugh and like seeing people happy. That, that's great. I'm, I've, 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 I've became to know um, Bianca during the week, and uh, she definitely has a, has a talent for that. Um, for, 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 for me personal, it was a, it was a real enriching experience um, getting to know Bianca and, and the rest of the students. Um, uh, I could see from Bianca that she really makes the Ahoa values of her primary school part of her daily life. Just the way she conducts herself shows of, of respect towards others, and, and she's definitely leading the way in, in helping others. So, Bianca, for me personally, th thank you for that, and, and you're an inspiration to me. Thank you. Good evening. I'm Paul. I'm uh, coming from Norway. Uh, one of the men's stations and together with the team I had the opportunity to meet this wonderful kid and many others from uh, Totara Group School. We had a wonderful week uh, and one of those days uh, during the week we had a great experience uh, on an airport trip. So I have here uh, Tyra and Michaela which are going to tell us a bit about their day at the airport. So girls, how was the day uh, at the airport? Um, it was really fun and it was really a good time to get out of school and learn what they do at the airport. Okay. And then, what have you seen around there? Um, we went to the rescue emergency room where we talked to the emergency people that go to emergencies that happen at the airport and then we went to a double-decker plane. Okay. Michaela, how was your day at the airport? It was really fun. Right. Um, we saw the biggest aircraft in the world. Inside there was a bar, kitchen, cockpit and first class and there were little mini TVs in the front on the other person's seat and PSs that you could play on. There were movies, music and games you could play. Okay, so what was the best, the best part uh, in that aircraft which you enjoyed the most? Um, going into the corporate and taking our photos. Nice. Okay, so I have a question for you. Would you, would you take a job at the airport? Yes. Uh, I know. <laughs> yeah, well done. So this is a dream which might come true if you learn hard 
And yeah, that might be your future. Yeah. Okay? Thank you very much. Thank you. So good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jonathan. I'm from Vancouver, Canada. It is my pleasure to introduce you two lovely girls here from Tucky Primary, uh, Tatiana and Brittany. Um, they're they going to share about our throughout the week experience in I Have a Dream program. And um, let's start with Tatiana first. What did you do and what you liked the most throughout the week? Well, we all did surfing, paddleboarding, anything that you could dream of and the I have a dream and Menzies they taught me that if there's an opportunity take it because opportunities don't come every day well said very good very good so Brittany tell me about uh, the day trip so we do serving and pedal boarding as uh, all the audience can see so what is the most fun part and what you like the most I like paddleboarding the most because you get more experience with it. And I saw you pretty good at it. Did you have paddleboarding before? No. No, so you did really, really good. So do you like throughout the day, you like the food and the arrangement that everything's going on? Yes, it was really cool. And perfect weather will for us to do the outdoor sport activities too, right? So please uh, give a round of applause to all my little girls here. And they have done really well. Outstanding. Thank you. Hello, my name's Grant East. Uh, if you can't tell from the accent, I'm actually from Whangarei originally. Uh, hey, I, I now work for, for Menzies over in our Edinburgh office in Scotland, so a long way away. Um, and with me is Olivia Bratty from Tuki, Tukiponga High School, and she's going to tell us a bit about our week, uh, in particular the snorkeling trip to Goat Island, uh, to Poor Nights. Hi, I'm Olivia. First of all, I'd like to give a big, big thank you to the Menzies team and to Phoenix and Ivy Dream for giving us these amazing opportunities. Um, our week was really amazing. We got to go to the poor nights on Thursday. We got to see the New Zealand fur seal. That was pretty scary. Um, <laughs> the carpet shark and many colorful fish. We got to go and sing in the hole in the rock. And we also got to go to the recording studio. That was amazing. And how was the boat ride out to the, the poor nights? Oh, that was a bit scary. Yeah, because you could go on like the top of the boat, and it was very windy, and the waves were like big. So, yeah. Don't and have you, had a, have you had a good week? Yeah, yeah, I've had a pretty good week. So I, I think we can all all agree that the kids have had a great week, and that they've had a huge amount of fun. And to be honest, from from the men's, we've had a huge amount of fun as well, um, as just as much as the kids. And we look forward to to keeping in touch with them and seeing how their dreams develop and grow over the years. Thank you. Yes, one more massive round of applause for all our kids for getting up and talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, one, one for me, one for me, one for me. Oh, wow, well, wow. Well, I see how it is. I see how it is. <laughs> um, yeah, so our kids have had a massive, massive week. Um, so now we get to kind of, we're, we're getting there. We're almost at the premiere. We're getting close. We're getting very close, but we got a, we've got a short video just a behind the scenes so we can see all the work that's been going in behind the scenes from Menzies, from all our kids that are here today, from all the I Have a Dream and all the parents that have been involved as well. So we're going to watch a quick video. It's behind the scenes. I haven't seen it, so I'm excited as well. So enjoy. So I'm sitting in my office one day and I get this random email from this guy Richard representing this international aviation company and he's wanting to do something with a charity in New Zealand that where he brings across this whole team of people from the aviation company to mix with a charity and pull off something amazing that will give back to our kids and our community and so myself and my managers Joby and Damien from I Have a Dream we're driving down to Auckland one day in the car and we're thinking what can we do you know what can we pitch to this guy to to get them to choose us and to come here and so as we're driving down we just really landed on this the, the Whakatoki uh, mate huruhuru karere tamanu, meaning adorn the bird with feathers so that it can fly. 
And so as we thought about that, I thought that that's what we're doing. We're, we're helping these kids grow their wings and grow their feathers so that they can fly into their futures and their dreams and their careers. And similarly, on the other hand, that's exactly what Menzies Aviation Company, the international aviation company that Richard was representing, stands for. Because they're all about helping get people onto airplanes and get them in the air. So next thing we know, Richard is flying across to New Zealand to work with us and work out a whole plan about getting this team over here for a whole week. And we came up with a brief, a brief for creating our very own I Have a Dream charity single. Joby, tell us about the brief. The brief, a charity single, Reorua, two languages, palatable for mainstream audience, easy for kids to learn, something that talks of aspirations and dreams that aligns itself with our philosophy of I Have a Dream. Nothing, you know, nothing too hard for anybody. So with our schools and our teachers, um, collectively, we created a symphony super song. Now, within that song, ensconced is the cultural heritage of who we are as a people of this area, with our maunga and our all imbued in the growing of our children, following the pencil and following the journey of our students through life. This is what the song talks to, and this was the brief. So not only was it a song, but all of a sudden this became about the journey. The journey to create this song was six months in the making of kids coming together, hundreds of kids from different schools assembling together to learn the meaning, the significance behind the song and what it represented to them. Then when Menzies came over, we spent a whole week doing awesome stuff with the kids. We took them out on trips out to the poor nights. They went diving. We took them surfing. We took them paddle boarding. They went down behind the scenes at Auckland Airport to see what Menzies Aviation really do. And they went out on the walker. And, and it became this awesome week of activities of exposing kids to new horizons. Look at the opportunities that, that are out there because that's what this song is about. It's about navigating your way to your future and doing it your own way to achieve in life, in education and beyond. <laughs> Listen to the children of New Zealand. Ko ngā rangatira mō āpōpō, our future leaders. Ka pū te ruha, ka hao te rangatahi. Out with the old, in with the new. Without any further ado, live to the world, our charity single. You know, if you haven't already heard enough, auditions were had. Forty representatives were chosen, ten from each of our schools, and they came together with a challenge to actually record a charity single, our charity single, with 30 strangers. Yes, Menzies. Um, and you know, it's not a, just an easy job because Menzies only just learnt the song. The kids have been doing this for ages. So these super talented, awesome um, kids came together, helped these guys, and you know, it went like this. One studio, 40 students, 30 adults, 40 pizzas, a ton of ice cream, and here we are tonight, presenting to the world our song. Do it your own way. From the dreamers and the dream team. Hi to my kids. Now we're going to sing Unplugged, live and direct, here for you tonight. Oh my, to Pucky Pucky. Give it up for our awesome kids, the dreamers.
Wow. Wow, weren't they fantastic? Another round of applause, please. So it's, it's the moment we've all been waiting for. So it's the, it's the world premiere video of the I Have a Dream Foundation song that we've all been working on so hard. We've been in the studios, we've been filming. The Facebook guys, they've been working relentlessly over the last couple of days to make this happen. We've only just received the video. This is the first time we're going to see the video. And it's the first time everyone is going to see the video. So please watch the world premiere video of I Have a Dream. Do it your own way. Yes. Hi, Bella. Hi. How are you? Good. I'd like to talk to you about my dreams. Well, darling, that sounds amazing. But do you know what I think works best? Writing them down. Thank you. Me va a dar future 